What's going on, YouTube? You already know who it is. It's your boy, man. Cut your boy, trucker, man. Straight out of 229. Y'all know why. Uh, don't get tired. Yes, yeah, sir. Yes, yeah, sir. Y'all know I'm back at it like a crack at it. Like I always say, no disrespect to any one of you crack it. You did. Yes, yeah, sir. All right, y'all. I'm trying something new for the first time. All right. Actually, I got y'all on my chest mount. I got a chest mount so I can put on my chest. And uh, so we're going to see how this work out. It may not be perfect, but just work with me, okay? Just work with me. So right now, uh, I'm about to get out to make sure my trailer, my tank good. Make sure I'm all, everything, because you know, we stand at some of these truck stop, it can get crazy. So we about to get out here. And it actually put it pretty, pretty, pretty good out here. So we about to see. It ain't too cold. It may be a little windy, but. So y'all wanna make sure you get out here, take all your lines and make sure everything good. Cause when you get down the road, when you start driving, you wanna make sure everything good. So maybe I had to do a thorough, which I already, I did it last night, but I'm doing it, doing it again just to make sure, you know, you never know when you're sleeping, somebody may come and do something to your truck or pull you pull your fifth wheel handle and then they say you know you take off and you don't drop the tank could be fully loaded oh yeah i forgot to hit my button y'all i forgot to hit my button y'all while you at it make sure all your lights and stuff work just like a uh morning pre-trip you know but like I said, it feel real good out here. I'm up in uh, North Carolina off 95. So, feel pretty good. Y'all see I ain't got no jacket on. That let you know how, how good it feel. Like, this ain't cold to me. So, just, I mean, they do, they make sure everything still intact as you left it, okay? Make sure all your seal. Always make sure when you get up, make sure all your seals, hope y'all can see it. Make sure all your seals are Still intact because you keep going as y'all can see this is a pump tank this ain't one our regular i'm sorry for the wind this ain't no regular tank when i just red basic tank no this is our pump tank this is why our pump sit at right here so these why these are lines and all that so that's it basically make sure you know make sure them bad boy pumped up and good you know so I said all this work I'll pump right here. So I said that make sure, you know, everything good. Then what we hook our lines up at when we run our pump. That's what we hook our lines up, which is right there. We're gonna hook our uh, thermal lines up, heat lines up to keep the tank warm when it's too cold, especially like for oil and stuff. So That's about it. That's about it. So I will catch y'all in a minute. Let me get ready to get out of here. I'm gonna switch back up to my head in a few seconds. All right, YouTube. We back at it. We back, y'all. We about to pull off right now on the truck stop. So y'all see, we got 500. 500 miles to go i am headed to maywood new jersey all right so we finna get out of here so basically y'all basically uh what happened i left the house last night yesterday evening about six uh what's say six o'clock i had got a load y'all um uh, probably about three o'clock they called me and this is when i tell y'all we dead head a lot being a tanker you're gonna dead head a lot all right if you don't know this is a truck stop that um that um i found i think it's big called big boys right off of i-95 and i looked it up on trucker pass say i would have plenty of parking because i stopped about like uh late late this morning 
probably about two, three o'clock, I think. Right. Ah. So I find I ended up went ahead and parked them. But anyway, so I get a load yesterday and I left I left yesterday evening and we is deadheading. I deadhead, I went I had to go to Cardill to pick up a pump tank. Alright. Picked up pump tank at Cardill and then now I am deadheading all the way to Maywood, New Jersey, y'all. Alright. But yeah, all the way to Maywood, New Jersey, y'all. <laughs> Over a thousand miles dead all the way up to New Jersey. Which, like I said, if I'm making, you get paid either way. So that's an easy thousand miles in the book. And then I'm picking up, I gotta be there at five o'clock in the morning to pick up and they're going to EA Cloud, Cloud e, I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's going to Wisconsin. All right, it's e, E-A-U Cloud. Wisconsin. So that's where we going. That's where we headed to. Them. And it's supposed to be the uh, Tuesday morning, which I know I don't get tired. Any number of thousand miles. If I pick up, because they pick up Friday morning, y'all know I'll be there Sunday, Sunday night or Monday, depending on how the weather is. So I'm going to try to stick it out, get there early to get it out early so we can get, you know, some get something else. Because I know the pay period ends on Monday night. Y'all yeah, remember, this is my first load coming out of the house, so I mean, I can all. Well, one thing I like about Over Hill is like, if you get a load, but it delivered Tuesday, and this show, like, first load coming out the house, and you ain't got a mile, because like, I don't have no mile. Because I've been home ever since Wednesday. I got home last Friday. I got home last Friday evening. So I've been home Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and I left out Wednesday. So I was home Friday. So. All I gotta do is Monday, when I picked it Monday, wherever I'm at Monday, all I gotta do is call in and say, oh, hey, can you take all this load off of me and put it right back on me? So I will get paid for all the miles that I done did from the load. And so I get paid all the empty miles and all the loaded miles that I ran off of it. And wherever I stop at, that'll start a new trip. And let's say I stop in, uh, 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 let's see, Chicago. Let's say Chicago. So it will be from Chicago to where, however you said, Wisconsin. But I'm gonna pay for everything else, and then go on uh, this week paycheck. So I don't miss a week without a paycheck. All right. So that's what another thing about like it because sometimes it gonna be kind of hard to get a load, and it may deliver the day after the pay period in, and you just came up home time, and. You be like, oh man, I go a whole week without a check over them, you know. So that's another good thing I like about over here. And so, but y'all, I want to say this at the beginning, but I want to show, I want to see how the, the uh the camera um the camera uh chest GoPro um chest work. So, but I want to say this right here. Shout out to y'all, man. Hey, shout out to all my subscribers. To all the people that watch me, if you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Like I said, we going all the way up in 2024, man. We going all, we turn it up all the way up, all right? Ain't no turning down, because y'all know I don't get tired, all right? But I want to thank y'all, man, for all the support, especially on my last video I did. I really didn't think it was going to hit like that, you know, but it did. And I want to thank y'all for showing so much love, man. I really do appreciate it. And so the goal... The goal is for me to hit a thousand subscribers, which I know y'all can help me do it. And I hope y'all help me do it. Cause I will be doing a giveaway when I hit a thousand subscribers. That's like the ultimate goal to hit a thousand subscribers. And I will be doing a giveaway. All right. I don't know what it gonna be, but it gonna be something big. And it gonna be nothing small because at the end of the day, y'all showing me love and I wanna show y'all love back. All right. You know, so I, I really appreciate y'all from the bottom of my heart. And I really thank y'all, man. So make sure y'all be hitting that like button. Make sure y'all subscribing. Make sure y'all be leaving them comments. Hey, I love reading y'all comments, man. I love reading y'all comments. And shout out to the drivers 
that are planning on coming to Indian River, make sure you know, I'm just saying, if you wanna put my name down, just, just you know, write it down on the paper, let them know Bobby said this such a, all right? You know, it don't hurt. I really do appreciate it, you know? So, but if you don't, it still don't matter. I'm just glad you're coming over to the family. We, I, I, I hope everything work out for you. I hope you enjoy, I hope you like it. So if you see me on the road, you already know what time. All you gotta do is say, what's up, Mr. I don't get tired. All right, what's up, Mr. I don't get tired. So, all right, y'all, I'm gonna get on down the road. I will check back in. Cause I'm gonna get some fuel before I get to my delivery. So I'm gonna stop at the last love before I get to my, my, my uh, pickup. And um, so I already be having everything topped off, everything good, cause like I say, during the winter, I, I, you just never know when you're gonna be stuck on the road or whatever situation you in, at least you will have a truck that got fuel in them. All right, that's the bad thing. And food, cause I got plenty of food. So, but y'all stay tuned, man. I'll be back in a minute. What's going on, YouTube? We back. We back at it like a crack addict. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Don't disrespect either one of you cracks. You did, yes, sir. All right, as y'all can see, we are in some traffic, traffic, traffic. And I thought that I'd check back in with y'all, let y'all know what was going on. So it was been going good till we got up here. Uh, about to be a, coming into Washington in about 40 some miles. What about, let's say about 20, 20, 30 miles. But this is another thing truckers go through. I know they say um they get prepared for a uh, winter storm supposed to hit tomorrow. So they prepare for that. They are they got uh truck that here spraying the road. I don't know what they put down, but they obviously they spraying the road. I guess so the, the ice won't get too bad on the road or you know help the snow melt faster i don't know what it is but you know so obviously you can see it's a lot of a lot of yellow a lot of red going around washington but you know it is what it is uh we is 276 miles away from our pickup um i've been here before but so but we gonna see can we i know you can pull on the side, the side road, and I'm most likely I'm gonna stay the night there because I don't want to try to get up in the morning and it be like snowing and crazy traffic, and so I'm trying to go and get there tonight and just uh and just uh stay the night there. And I already beat them. My partner said my apartment at five o'clock in the morning, so we just gonna um stay the night there and shut it down but yeah like i said i just want to check in with y'all you know i don't know how long i'm gonna be in this traffic ain't no no you, you just never know you know so but i do gotta stop and still gotta stop and get fuel which i'm like 208 miles away i'm gonna make it there to get fuel before i get to my pickup so i have all that taken care of so once, once we get loaded we can there ain't no stopping all right and like I, said, I hope the road is clear between, I know pretty much I'm gonna take 80 across. So, well, I know I'm gonna take 80 across, so I hope the road be clear, I hope it be good. But like I said, we'll see tomorrow and I'm gonna keep an update on the the weather. And that's another thing too, being a truck driver. And well, you ain't gotta be a truck driver, just driving in general, especially when you're traveling. Make sure you always keep an update on what's going on, on with the weather and the road condition. That'll help you out a whole lot. And being a and if you a truck driver, get you a CB radio. You know, it can really come in handy sometimes because, like I said, you never know when it stops traffic up ahead. You never know, and that could be something that can help you with uh communication. All right, like on my GPS, like this is my tab right here, but this trucker pal, see, Garmin doesn't show their stop traffic up a room up ahead. Well, it does, but I don't have that stuff connected and you know, whoop, whoop, or whatever, but I'm pretty sure it does, but I didn't have it connected, but that's why I got the trucker path up there. So I know it was gonna be traffic up ahead. So that's why I 
I already knew what was going on, so I just slow went ahead and started slowing down. I thought my four ways on just start slowing down because I already knew. So it's best to have something that you can communicate with to help you and get like a weather alert app, you know, that can that can tell you okay, well, you know, up ahead, you know, with bad storm, bad rain, snow, and all that. I didn't ask for you to say that Bixby. So I always have something for you to communicate and knowing what's going on out here. Because if you don't, you will be going in these situations blind, don't know what's going on, you know. So if I say rather be safe than be sorry right here. Because in the end of the day, you know winter is like the, the most dangerous season that we have out here. So we have to take extra precaution of what's going on. So like I said, always be prepared for what you're doing. That's why uh, trip planning, plan all that stuff before you even move in the morning or at night or, you know, if you know it's gonna be bad weather at night and you can wait to drive in the morning, drive in the morning. Don't risk out here trying to come out here at nighttime when the ice and the real bad snow out there. Your life is not worth none of these loads out here. Not now one of them, all right? And if you're just about to get mad with them, Matt, what you say? Look, when you come out here and drive the truck, you know, tell them to drive the truck. Because in the, the day, I got a family that I'm, I want to go back home to make it home to. Y'all go home every day. We don't. Well, the one that's OTR, you know, but local driver, that don't include y'all because y'all get home every day. But one that got to be out here for weeks at a time and days at a time months at a time you know we try to make it back home and we got family we try to make it back home to our family so that's why we had to you know our job is to get out here make the money that we need to make and go back home to our family that's it all right nothing else so just pay attention to what you're doing stay alert of what you're doing don't be tension and driving don't be losing focus you know none of that because it only take one split second that can cause a lot of damage and can cause somebody life. So always be cautious, especially in these winter months, like I said, because you got other drivers that don't know how to drive. You got drivers that want to be super truckers. You got drivers that just don't care about nobody else's life, none of that. So them the ones you have to watch out. Watch out for, you know, so don't be that person. You know, cause and like I said, we in the day we all try to make it back home to our family. Even these coke cars and these four wheelers here, they trying to make it back home to their family too. So just do what you're supposed to do. Do it right and do it safe. All right. And then I say, uh, make sure you, like I said, do your pre trips. Make sure everything right on your truck and your trailer before you leave. All right, cause you don't want to get out here. And I say cold and snowing and now you stuck on the side of the road because you ain't do your pre-trip and you you could have noticed you could have prevented it by doing a pre-trip. All right. So make sure you do your pre-trip, man. So all right, y'all. I thought I'd check back in with y'all real quick. Like, you know what I'm saying? You know, I can talk about I can talk all day long about this stuff out here, but that'll be another video, all right? So so y'all stay tuned my problem when i come back out is i'm getting fuel or i'm ending the video one of the two but we'll see i know this video probably gonna be pretty long but i hope y'all like i said hope y'all enjoy the contents and enjoying the information that i put out if you do make sure you all y'all hit that like button all right make sure you hit the like button and like i said you got any questions you need you want to know about not only just any river or some you have any questions trust me I got years of experience, and if I can help you, I will help you. And if I can't, I will send you to somebody that I, that that can. All right. So, bye, y'all. I tip my y'all in a minute. What's going on, too? I'm back. Um, I know this is a new day from the, the previous clip. I said I pulled the head delivered. Uh, pulled the guy here that morning at five o'clock in the morning, but we had some technical difficulty. All right. Uh. Mr. around and lost my license like it was bad it, uh, uh, it was bad lost my license so you know uh like i said i was winning the truck stop they got me something to drink and came back out and then you know i got back in the truck and i usually like i said when i usually get in the truck i put it up there at the top of there you know, I don't like sitting on the wallet because it, it, it feel weird. So, 
everything was moving so fast, I just, I just, um, don't know why I put it in. You know, so, but I didn't notice I had lost it until I got to New Jersey. All right, and I was, I got, I stopped in Virginia. So I drove all the way from Virginia all the way to New Jersey, basically with no license. So, I, um, I started to love to get my fuel. Like I said yesterday, I was going to stop and get fuel. So I stopped and get fuel and I'm going to run in this side and get me something to eat. All right. So I said, what my wallet at or whatever? What my license? What my wallet Oh, you know, good thing I only keep it like in my wallet. I only keep it two cards, two cards and my license. Everything else, I don't bring with me or none of that. You know, because that's personal stuff that you, you know, no, I ain't bringing all. Nah, that ain't what's going on. So, but... So luckily I was like 19 yard from the terminal, 19 miles from the terminal at Ben Salem. So I just went to Ben Salem and say, went to Ben Salem and shut it down, went to the terminal, shut down them and went to the morning. In the morning, you know, I called Winter Haven. Now I called nighttime dispatch to see if they do it, but they don't know like if, if you come over here or people that work with it know the only bad thing about over here that I have a problem with is nighttime dispatch. Which it ain't everybody, which over here you only gonna talk to one person at Indian River after hours. And that's gonna be he gonna be in Winter Haven. And I ain't call I ain't gonna call no name, you know, I ain't but it's just like when you call in, it's just like he just like what is it? What's going on? Oh, well, you have to wait till the morning. Every time I call, y'all would tell me I have to wait until in the morning. Any little thing, you have to wait till the morning. Or uh, even like when I needed the tank or whatever. Oh, uh, well, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. It's like he, it's like he hate his job or whatever. You know what I'm saying? It's like, you know, he never, like, you know, he called it sometimes. He talks to people like, hey, how's it going? What's going on with you? You need some help? What, what, what can I help you with? Uh, it ain't nothing. He's like a, a, a zombie. A zombie, a mummy, like he just lost his best friend, lost his, his pet dog, or whatever. That's like the only thing that I hate about over here is nighttime dispatch. All right. So if you have any problems, call before, try to call before they leave. All right. Cause you call night dispatch, you, you, you try me. If you know, you know. You gonna call and you gonna find out like, I'm wrong with him. You know, but anyway, so I called in the morning. I called in the morning and it got me a copy of my driver's license, front and back to have a copy because you know I don't I don't know how it is. If you get put over without a license or none of that, I don't know. So look, I said no, I'm not gonna know what I get a copy of my license. Alright? So they got me uh they gave me a copy and then I came over here which I was like seven to eight miles away from my um my uh, pickup where I'm at now. So I got here at 1041. So I said I had to do what I had to do, but I, I'm i not chancing, I'm not gonna take it a chance without driving without no license and get pulled over and now they, you know, who, who, who know what happened, okay? I wasn't gonna do that. So anyway, I'm here now, I'm get loaded. And this right from right, from this moment, in the next video, it's gonna start from right here. Alright? From right here. So, alright y'all. I'm ending this video out. Y'all know who it is. It's your boy back. Country boy trucker. Straight out of two tonight. Y'all know why. Uh, don't get tired. Yes, sir.